Johannesburg is nog altijd de stad van hoop. Sierdert zijn geboorte en die storm loop van goud, het hierdie plek duisende sy harte geraak met drome van wat die toekomst mag bring. Maar sommige drome is vreemder as ander. Um, if you look up over here, you can see a really beautiful example. So can you tell me what that is? I don't know. It looks like a rotator of a window, like a small, small, small window. Like... Yeah. Ek het, ek het nie idee nie, vet alleen dit. Misschien is dit een vlagpaal. So, so what do you think that is? Ah, uh, that one it seems like a lightning conductor or, ja. Ek het gedink is een vlagpaal. Ek weet nie, misschien een vlagpaal. Okay, so if you take a look um, around buildings in downtown Joburg, quite often on the roofs you'll see these spires or these crazy sort of masts. Most of them are found on Art Deco buildings. With Art Deco architecture, um, which was in the 1930s, basically you're sitting between the First World War and the Second World War. People had come out of this terrible war. They were very, it was a very positive time. There was a lot of money. It was also sort of people were just starting to pull out of the Great Depression. Joburg was seen as this huge boom town. And obviously I think people were trying to move away from a very British colonial sort of image in Johannesburg. So the big country to adopt was America. So everybody was obsessed with modernization and Americanization. So you have these Art Deco buildings which are kind of transported straight from Manhattan or Chicago into the center of Joburg. Uh, and the big idea with Deco buildings was that they were buildings from the future. Um, and in these crazy futuristic cities, people weren't going to drive on the streets anymore you'd have airships. It's, it's like a giant, basically like a giant air balloon with a little basket below the balloon. Um, and so your airships would fly across the sky in Manhattan or fly across the sky in downtown Joburg. And um, you would then need a place obviously to dock on the top of these very tall skyscrapers. And the idea was kind of to use this sort of anchor from the airship. So you, yeah, you literally would kind of lasso the flag mast, secure your airship onto the end of this giant pole and then you'd let down your little rope um, sort of drawbridge or, or, or ladder and people would then walk or climb down the ladder and onto this amazing arrival deck on the top, on the top of your building. They actually did try the airship story um, in, in Manhattan in New York on one of the crazy proper New York skyscrapers and the wind was just so severe that the, it was completely unsafe um, and you couldn't stabilize the airship and obviously no one's going to want to climb down a little rope ladder from a very unstable um, airship to the top of an 85-story building. Um, so after one attempt, they actually ditched the whole airship idea. As of dit nie genoeg is nie, is hierdie lichtskeep as ballonne met hoogsvlambare waterstof gevul, wat hulle in vleende brandgevare verander het. Um, so, not only was it very dangerous to dock the airship on the mask, mast and try and climb down these little stairs, but obviously a, the airship was actually a really, really dangerous um, machine as well, which is why after the Hindenburg disaster, they pretty rapidly phased out the use of airships. The flag masts kind of remained um, as this stylistic element, but never actually became a, a practical or usable um, part of these buildings which is why you don't see them kind of traveling over the skies of Joburg. So yeah, for die van ons wat wens, ons kon Johannesburgse druk verkeer vir my. Mens kan seker, maar net blij droom.